Today, Tokyo confirming nearly 2,200 new COVID-19 cases. Three of Tokyo's neighboring prefectures included in a newly widened state of emergency in response to Japan's nationwide surge in infections. But the good news is the Olympic bubble for athletes and their delegations appears to be working. Of some 400,000 COVID-19 tests performed on the Olympics community, only 0.02% have been positive. Grabbing gymnastics fans' attention, star American gymnast Simone Biles will return to competition for the balance beam finals on Tuesday, this after withdrawing from events about a week ago for what was described as a mental health issue. Also capturing headlines, on Sunday, Belarusian sprinter Kristina Simon Uskaya refused to get on a flight bound for Belarus and sought protection from Japanese police. In earlier competition, American silver medal winning shot putter Raven Saunders and American bronze medal winning fencer Race Imboden both displaying an X on the podium by gesture or symbol in apparent protest. The IOC and U.S. Olympics officials are now sorting out just who will adjudicate what some call a violation of the Olympics' non-political protocols. Just some of today's highlights, Indonesia upsets China 2-0 to zero for gold in women's doubles badminton. Lee Wen Wen taking the gold in women's over 87 kilogram weightlifting, giving Team China its seventh weightlifting win at the Tokyo Games. New Zealand transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard out of competition after three invalid lifts. And Sufiane El Bakali of Morocco winning the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase, ending Kenya's dominance of the event at every Summer Olympics since 1980. Steve Ross for VOA News, Tokyo.